Hello everyone, welcome back to Bits and Bob's Divination. My name is Caitlin and today we are going to be diving in to your September blessings as well as your Virgo season messages. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so welcome back my beautiful kindred spirits and anyone new who may be joining us here today to look into your month of September to see those Virgo season messages and those blessings on their way in. Um, we're going to be having quite a lot of fun with this one. Uh, if you guys are new though, do be sure to subscribe as I put out new videos every single Monday for both pick a card readings and just last week I put out a video on my grimoire flip through and tour. So if you're interested in more of the witchy stuff, Stuff that I get up to and the spiritual side of things in terms of my personal practice and how you can use that for your own grimoire and creative um, inspirations, then do be sure to check that out up here or down below as I had a lot of fun with that one sharing my art magic tips and all of the different things that I get up to in there. So do be sure to check that out and also if you are curious about the things that you can do to support this space, the Kindred Tip Jar is down below where every Everything that goes in there goes right back into the equipment and supplies that you see here today. Uh, and you can also check out the uh, snail mail readings that I do where I can send a letter to you in the mail. Um, it's typewritten on a vintage typewriter and sent to you so you can treasure it forever and see all of the beautiful messages as time goes forward for a tarot reading that's very special. And you can also check out the Maybon spell and ritual papers that I hand make and create just for your personal magic. So do be sure to check those out down below as well. But with all of that said, let's go ahead and look at your piles here. So for each of the piles, I was feeling very much a nature theme. So for pile number one, we have this little piece of bark. It has this lichen all over it, and it looks like this on the other side. So you might be feeling connected to this little piece of bark for group one. For group two here, we have this piece of a arrowhead in the uh, stone of obsidian. So you might be feeling this shiny stone here. So that is group two. And then last but not least here for group three, we have this little pine cone. It sounds like this. And um, yeah, it's just all brown and cute and pine coney. So that is pile number three. So as always, before you start heading off to the timestamps, I like to invite you to take a deep and cleansing breath here with me so you can really connect with the piles, connect with your intuition, center yourself. So let's go ahead and take that deep cleansing breath here together now. So as always, there's no right or wrong way to choose your piles here. You can choose all three of the piles, you can pick and choose between them, you can flip flop between them. There really is a no rule book here. All of the timestamps will be down below in the description alongside the chapter marks of this video. And like I said, if you want to check out those different offerings such as snail mail readings, Maybon spell and ritual papers, or that grimoire tour, I'll have all of that listed down below in the description. So with everything out of the way, let's go ahead and look at pile number one. Hello group one, if you've decided to choose this piece of bark with all this beautiful lichen on it, then this is the pile for you. We are going to be looking into your month of September to see the main energies on its way in, and also any relationship messages and Virgo season messages, as well as your monthly blessings. So we're going to be doing all of that with the charms, several different oracle decks, and the tarot deck of choice being the uh, Cosmic Slumber Tarot, but everything that um, I use today should be listed down below in case you're curious for reference. So with all of that said, do feel free to get yourself cozy here and we're going to see what's coming in for you all for the month of September. So go ahead and send your energy in and I'm going to sneeze off camera real quick and then we'll, we'll pull your cards. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Um, my allergies have been going off, so <laughs> if you have any random... Um, sort of pauses within this this reading that's probably what it is but let's go ahead and get right into it I'm in a silly mood today so let's see group one group one for the month of September what major energies are coming in for you 
I'm going to pull those two out. See the final message here. Group one, group one for the month of September. Okay, so let's see what we have gathered up here for you. So we'll start with these two cards. And you have the sun as well as strength. So seeing as we've just moved out of Leo season and we're moving into the energy of Virgo, I find it interesting that you got both the sun and uh, strength because they are very much still Leo season energy. So there might be things that you maybe didn't learn during Leo season within the last like 20-ish days that maybe is a lesson that you're still kind of embracing, I feel like, or or sort of still feeling the after effects of something that happened within Leo season. So again, like the last 20 so days. Um, and then we also have here justice, which is also interesting because it is um, the next sign being Libra. So there, it almost feels like Virgo season. And I know I'm going to talk about September as well, as it also moves into to, uh, uh, Libra season. It it feels like you're having like a pit stop is what it feels like. I feel like you're in a pit stop or like you're in the middle of learning some lessons or moving through some some of that Leo energy of of creativity, understanding yourself, kind of owning your own personal power and strength and kind of finding balance in your life through that. So it just feels like you're in some sort of like pit stop zone. I feel like you have another card. So I want to see what that might be for you group. Group one, what is our mystery energy that we're kind of missing here? Okay, so we've got one more. Let's see what that is. Okay, so we also have the devil. So I really feel like I said, like you're at this pit stop sort of introspective stage between Leo season and Virgo season. And I'm not like, I don't tend to work with a ton of astrology on my channel here um, within our readings, but this one just felt like very much um, about that. So maybe you guys follow a lot of the astrological times and even if you don't even if you're like I don't even know what Libra and Leo and all of that means the most important part is I just feel like this September is sort of a pit stop for you within um sort of your own personal growth and sort of working through a lot of this devil energy that's going to be like the main thing that you're going to be doing this month and the devil energy sometimes can be a little bit scary for some people but it is about kind of slaying our inner demons and um also sort of working through and even if we don't like fix things but just understanding or looking at the mechanism behind some of the habits some of the um rituals those everyday things that start to pile up and create some um personal negative uh, side effects to you know what we what we're putting into the world so right like the consequences to our actions and I feel like you're going to be kind of noticing where things are sort of not aligning or balancing anymore especially because we have the justice card which is all about sort of aligning things balancing things back out and um, the consequences to our actions and consequence can feel like a, a bad thing but there's consequences to good actions that we do too right um, you know by going outside and getting some vitamin T D we have the the wonderful um, good feelings and good endorphins and all of that kind of stuff from coming inside so a consequence can be a good thing too it's just sort of the result of an action but regardless I feel like this month is is going to be a lot about sort of breaking through those chains or even if you're not breaking through them being more more understanding and more um, aware that these chains even exist because there's a lot of times that we'll be you know, just we fall into certain things. We just fall into certain habits. We fall into certain routines, rituals that just slowly start to kind of chip away at us. And I feel like with them kind of holding you here, I feel like you're like holding yourself and, and kind of either holding yourself accountable for them or, or just being more aware that they exist in order for you to shed a little bit of light and find a little bit more balance and inner strength to kind of approach them. Um, towards the end of the month. So those are the things that I'm really seeing is more of that kind of stuff. Outside of that though, uh, where I currently live, I can't help but see the sun card being more about like heat wave stuff or weather. So there could be some weather events that are going to be balancing out this month. 
And then uh, there also is just, like I said, a bit of that inner strength and inner confidence starting to build within this month. So those are the things that I'm seeing. I'm seeing a, all of your cards are um, major arcana, which I guess I didn't even notice until just now, but all of your cards are the majors of the tarot deck, which tells me that this is also going to be um, one of those months that even though you're just sort of looking within, maybe not even making action or making changes, I think that the changes are going to be happening on those inner workings, kind of like a clock, right? Like changing the, the gears, changing things just slightly enough to be able to make much bigger, long-standing change. So I do see some like subtle transformation happening over, um, over the month as well. But let's go ahead and pull you your uh, blessing card. You can also see this as the biggest energy that's really going to be on your side this month. So let's go ahead and see what that is for you, group. Group one for the month of September. Ooh, okay. So you have the raccoon and sycamore and it says here, curiosity. Um, so I'll go ahead and hold that up for you. The raccoon and sycamore, curiosity. And I, this definitely does give off that curious feeling, right? Like they're like kind of teetering on these branches, ready to kind of leap into something and see what awaits them on the next branch. So I feel like this, there's almost an anticipation here or some, like some event that you're almost anticipating or getting excited or really like worked up, um, in a good way over. So I feel like there might be something like happening, um, in terms of, of something you've been waiting for, for quite a long time coming forward and being an energy that, um, gets you really excited um and and like in that that like celebratory place but I also am seeing just curiosity in terms of being curious about your routines being curious about those habits and that your curiosity is going to lead towards that lands long-standing change for you um so I really like seeing this one on your side but let's go ahead and pull you also your um, relationship messages. So uh, if you've been here for a while, you probably already know. But just in case you don't, I like to pull a relationship message. And this can be on any kind of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic relationship. So you might be finding that you want to look into a spiritual relationship, a friend, a family member, or into your relationship with yourself, however you wish. But um, let's go ahead and pull that, even if you want to just look generally. So the collective message here for group one. Okay, so I was feeling two of them here today. Um, feeling generous with the cards, obviously. So here we are with Twilight being the one that popped out m um, first. And immediately I thought less of like what the Oracle message is saying here and more like the... Um, the movie and the books and and sort of that kind of side of things so I do am I'm kind of getting this feeling like you're gonna have like a, maybe a movie movie night or a get together um over something that you both really enjoy uh this month I think that you might find yourselves having like like a lot of chat over something you've been again anticipating probably or possibly for quite a while so I got that feeling but it also says surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flowers so you might also be meeting up with people around twilight if you want to be really literal but then uh, alongside that you also got dream here with these little books have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself a good book so again it feels like I was getting that book feeling already with Twilight. So I feel like there might be a relationship in your life um, where you guys might be meeting up and talking um, about a show, a story, a movie, a game, some sort of shared hobby or shared interest that just like really is lighting you guys up, something you've been anticipating or getting excited about. Um, and that might be just something that's really important within your relationships this month. Um, but energetically, it can also be that somebody maybe is also showing up within your dreams a lot too. So keeping a dream journal could be really useful, especially with Twilight too. So pay attention to your dreams. You might have um, some, some interesting encounters that might give you a little bit more information or signs and signals about someone. So I'm going to keep that there, but let's pull you your last two cards, which are going to be about Virgo season. Um, so if you have been enjoying this reading so far, do be sure to give this video a like, but we're going to pull two for Virgo season, looking into 
um, basically where we can analyze and find more balance in your life, especially since we already have a lot of that showing up for you um, and the, the astrological parts of it because Virgos can be very practical, analytical, and they use the information that they sort of forge um, or forage to uh, come up with ways in which to create needed change. So I want to see how that is kind of showing up for you and how you can utilize this energy for the best of its ability, of your ability this month. So, or this Virgo season. So group. Oh, group one. You definitely got justice showing up twice, which I find interesting for a Virgo message again, because it's about Libra. And then the Queen of Wands has a lot to do with Leo. So, oh my goodness, you guys are just getting a lot to say that this is a pit stop in your personal transformation this month. Um, I really don't think the cards want to say much more than that. They're just saying this is a pit stop. This is this is just a glimpse into the beginning workings, those inner little workings that we're tweaking and changing that create this big change. Um, and that's going to give you more balance in your life. So balance between family and work and home and hobbies and friendships and, you know, right, trying to find more balance. And then we're also seeing a lot to showcase that you're going to be gaining a lot more confidence as well through this transformation and that the changes that that are needed um, that we were talking about with the devil card, um, they're going to also give you a lot more like power and freedom as well. So I see that showing up here too. So yeah, very, very interesting cards here. I'm going to finish off here with some um, uh, some casting of the charms. So do feel free to send your energy in through time and space. And let's see if they can give us some of those extra little details here. So group one. Okay, so let's get a little look-see here and um, look at them a little bit closer. So we have a lot of them falling towards your curiosity card, which obviously has me curious. So one of the charms that we have here right in the middle is the... Um, SD card of 32 uh, megabytes. So this is a very, very small amount of space. So this is a charm all about discernment. So being more discerning about your time. And again, that curiosity is, is on your side. It's going to help you by being more curious, by introspecting, by looking at the things that you need to tweak or change to create those, those domino effects. This is just giving us more of that information that there might be something in your life that you need to purge or let go of in order to help with those habits, those routines, those rituals, because 32 megabytes is only a little bit, like it's a few pictures worth of information that we can store on this. So it's just like you're running out of space kind of feeling. So there might be something in your life that you need to make more space in your life for in order to create um, more balance, um, as we were talking about earlier with the justice card showing up twice. You also have the persistence charm. Um, it's got like a little chip in your shoulder kind of feeling too. So you might also be feeling like, no, I can take it all on. I, I can take it all on with like a chip on your shoulder, kind of, um, that sort of energy of being kind of stubborn. So it gets you being a little bit stubborn about, um, making changes as well. But, um, there is underneath that stubbornness, a lot of, of opportunities and doors that you could open um, that you previously had locked with that that sort of mindset and then we also have here the um, zip tie which tells me as well this has a lot to do with those routines the sort of claw or again sort of chain us uh, the other two that we have over here next to the devil card and the justice card is the worry stone so this always feels like like one of those little worry stones it's just a little bead but um you might be feeling a little bit worried about the balance in your life or feeling like the reason why you lean on these specific habits or rituals are because uh, they come from a place of insecurity or worry or using it as a way to sort of self-soothe. So the thing is not necessarily that you have to like get rid of these routines, but like I said, just making small changes, small shifts, little baby steps or to um, even replace it with just a little bit better of a step forward, whatever better means for you. 
you also have like the little mini hat which makes you, is making me think of the magician card and that you have that the power really is in your hands like you are the only one that can make these choices that can make these changes no one can really make them for you um, so that's showing up here too to give you a little bit more of that information and then lastly here you have the wisdom charm showing up here on the queen of wands so not only are you going to gain balance through making these changes um, but also within that confidence a lot of wisdom and experience gained too experience gained wisdom uh, so you have to kind of go through a few things to be able to to kind of mine the good out of the experiences that you've kind of gone through and might go through this month. So those are all of the charms and the cards that I have here for you, uh, group one. I do hope this was useful for you. I know it had a lot of more big picture energy, so I think that this is, even though it's a pit stop, it's definitely big picture energy for you with all those majors. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments, and like I said, do be sure to give this video a like if you really did enjoy it or found something useful in it. And if you haven't already, do be sure and consider subscribing as I put out new videos every single Monday for pick a card readings, educational videos, or even some more magical ones that I put out recently. So if you haven't seen my uh, Book of Shadows slash Grimoire book, through, book flip through, then do feel free to see that as I put that out last week. Thank you again so much for joining me here today. If you want to support the channel even further, the Kindred Tip Jar is also down below. Everything that goes in there goes right back into the channel. And you're also welcome to see the different ways in which you can support the channel through the snail mail readings that I do. And I also do um, some magical papers as well. So if you're interested in those for Maybon, feel free to check that out down below. But with all of that said, I'm wishing you a wonderful month of introspection, change, and some sunny days, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Hello group two! If you've decided to choose this piece of obsidian in this arrowhead, then this is the pile for you. We're going to see what is pointing you in the right direction this month um, through the energies coming in for September, any blessings on their way in, relationship messages, as well as your Virgo season messages. So we're going to be doing that with the charms here, as well as several different oracle decks and uh, the tarot deck of choice being the Cosmic Slumber Tarot, all of which I'll have listed down below in the description in case you want to see what we used here today. Uh, but let's go ahead and just get right into it. I'm feeling just raring to go today, so do feel free to send your energy in, get yourself settled if you'd like to, get yourself cozy, get some water as well. We're going through a huge heat wave where I'm at, so I've just been like drinking water every two seconds. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So feel free to send your energy in. And let's pull some cards. Group two. What do you got coming in? Group two for the month of September. Okay, we've got the judgment card coming out for September for sure. Um, judgment being a lot to do with level up. So you might be going through some bigger personal transformations this month. Or things that are kind of shifting and changing um, for the better. It almost feels like, like you know, like a level up or, or getting like... Um, like a, a mushroom in, in Mario to like kind of go up a level. So we're going to see what um, else you might have showing up here. Okay, so we also have the six of torches, a lot of success, a lot of passion and power behind what you're doing, um, and also showcasing that you have a lot of support behind you this month. You have a lot of people kind of in your corner or understanding um, and supportive of what you're trying to make or what you're trying to move up on, especially since they're like pointing at this transformation, almost like they're wanting to lift you up and pull you up um, as you do so. So that's really exciting to see that you have people who are wanting to support you from behind to lift you up. Lots of voices, lots of passion, um, a lot of community building or community um, support this month for sure. Let's see your final card this month for the biggest messages coming through. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, which can also showcase and indicate that this month might be quite a um, fulfilling one, but also in the same sense, like, I feel like it's almost energetically depleting. Like, I feel like you're going to have a quite a busy month, and one that is going to be kind of emotionally 
fulfilling in some ways, right? Because you're going to be leveling up and moving forward. But a lot of people don't talk about how difficult transformation can be, right? Like literally a lot of the time we talk about um, transformation being like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so wonderful. Look at how far you've evolved, how much you've, and it only feels good in hindsight. Um, In the moment of transformation, it can be very difficult. It can be very confusing a lot of emotional energy is moving around a lot of shifts and changes have to happen um, and a lot of events have to line up for that to happen so I really think that yes you may be leveling up but you also have to almost go through quite a lot of emotional and it doesn't have to be necessarily negative emotions but just even positive emotions like I don't know if you guys ever get this too, but like after your own birthday, when everyone's lifting you up, celebrating you, um, supporting you, it still can feel tiring by the end of the night. Like you feel tired from all of the emotions, from all of the um, rambunctiousness of the day. So I do think that you're going to have a very positive, really optimistic month and one that can be, like I said, quite powerfully transformative. Um, But I think what's most important to focus on is the support and making sure to ask for help or to ask for for a little bit of a helping hand when needed this month, especially since the things that you're changing and leveling up to, whether that's leveling up because you're heading somewhere else in your career, leveling up because you're making a a shift or a change. Maybe you made a big purchase and maybe that's creating lots of big changes in your life. Maybe you joined a gym. It doesn't really matter what the transformation is, whatever the new change is or the catalyst of it. It can still be quite a lot emotionally. So just be quite aware of that as you move through the month to ask for help if needed or to take that rest time when needed as well because I think the month could really sweep you away. But you do have a lot of success coming in, so I do think it's going to be a very successful month. And if you guys, if you go based off of like a level up in terms of um, a uh, video game, like you might have to to go through some boss level fights, but I do think that you're going to come out being the winner or the victor in this situation. But just make sure that the people behind you helping and backing you up get congratulated or get um, seen as well as they congratulate and move you up too, right? So, so you might find there's also quite a bit of reciprocity needed this month as well to, to give back a little bit um, when you have the time and when you feel emotionally available to do so. But like I said, that's what we have kind of going on with these cards, but let's get more information. So we're going to pull a card for you for the blessings coming in from Spirit this month, or you can also see it as the um, energy most on your side this month. So let's see what that is for you, group two. Ooh, okay, yes, <laughs> metamorphosis, transformation, leveling up, totally makes sense. So this is a good energy, this is a good transformation, even if it's a little scary, even if it's a little bit difficult, even if it's um, kind of trips you up or throws you off a little bit, at the end of the day, it's going to, to really le- like let you bloom and it, it, it feels, it feels like, um, like I can feel my chest opening, I can feel like my airways opening, I feel like it's going to give you a lot more breathing room and freedom as well. Um, and like this, this feeling of being able to let layers of yourself kind of unravel that haven't been able to see light in a very long time. So here we are with the frog and the lotus metamorphosis. So that's going to be on your side. Also the idea of like a frog leaping ahead. So again, more of that level up energy. So this is a good thing. This is something to look forward to. Even if it's difficult, it's something that is, it seems is going to be very successful and very, um, like something you're going to look back on and, and be like, yes, that was, that was amazing. That did really well. That was, you know, that really made a big difference. So I'm, I love seeing this being on your side. Um, especially since transformations can be a little bit scary sometimes, So let's see your relationship card this month. So this is going to be on any kind of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. So it could be with a family member, a friend, um, a loved one, or even with spirit or yourself. But let's see what the collective message here is for you, group two. Group two. I'm feeling like two cards today. Um, I felt that way with the first pile as well. So I'm going to see if there's any more. Okay. 
let's see what we've got so the first one that we have here is beauty and again we have more transformative energy here with the butterfly um, but it says dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable and like I said this transformation is going to be emotionally vulnerable for sure it's going to take a lot out of you emotionally but also could also like strengthen your emotional intelligence as well not only for others but for yourself so that's really cool and then we also have joy with these little ladybugs so cute a little trio of ladybugs which makes me think of the three of cups um like flying around with each other so there's a lot of joy a lot of peace make time for the little things um today so I really feel like there's again a lot of beauty a lot of joy a lot of support a lot of care coming from your relationships this month and that they're going to be quite tender they they seem to be very gentle and like giving you grace and giving you breathing room in order to to kind of move through this stage and also um kind of I feel like I'm getting like little giggles from the joy card too of of kind of being not only are they can they support you to lift you up but also like literally emotionally lift you up by laughter and joy and inside jokes and you know watching a comfort show or something like that that they could be there for you in that way too so this is really beautiful um let's go ahead and pull you your final cards before we move to the charms if you have enjoyed this reading so far though do be sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing but we are going to pull these for virgo season which i find is a very very different season from leo season which we've just come out of which is all about confidence and you know kind of reining your strength in whereas virgo's strength actually kind of lies in practicality and looking at a situation and the resources and the people around you and the routines and rituals that you have in order to sort of analyze that information to create needed change so i'm not surprised to see that not only your pile but the first pile as well has a lot to do with that energy of change because um and especially long-standing change because that is sort of the theme of Virgo season. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and pull you two cards to look into how you can sort of benefit most from this Virgo season energy. So group. <laughs> you got the Queen of Cups as well. Okay, so you definitely have that Queen of Cups energy coming in, reminding us that that's a big part of the month for sure let's see again and then the magician okay so and this is very do they not are they not just mimicking each other I feel like the cards are really doing that today seeing as we've already talked a lot about the queen of cups which I'll go ahead and hold up here so you can see this version as well in case this gives you more emotional insights for you um since we've already talked a lot about the queen of cups I probably won't talk too much on this card just a reminder that this is a very um constant energy that's coming in with the idea of like that emotional uh almost like you're getting emotional experience as well like xp in a game i know that this like the game references are coming up a lot here but um uh, it's just that's the analogies that are coming through but then we also have the magician which where this is showcasing support i feel like your support um is coming in in the form of people obviously in the form of relationships in the form of community because the magician is all about having all of their ducks in their order like and ducks in order like they have all the resources they have the swords the the cups the pentacles the wands they they have spirit in themselves on their side right so the idea that you not only are things lining up right now and a really great time to manifest this transformation, but on top of that is being mirrored in this card showcasing that the people that are going to be your biggest resource on this table are going to be the people and the relationships in your life. So really leaning on them, um, asking for support um, is going to be really, really poignant for your month. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and pull those charms. So do feel free to send your energy in through time and space here and let's pull some charms. So group two. Okay. 
So, interestingly, you actually got the uh, goat charm with celebration on it. And this is a charm all about um, a similar energy to the uh, six of cups and the idea, or six of, of wands here. And the idea that the support that you're getting is also very... Um, rock solid in the idea of like a sculpture would be but also that people are lifting you up to be seen um for long-standing change and I am also getting this feeling too of like a mountain goat being like a goat that would go up a mountain obviously uh so mountains being a symbol for for kind of fortitude and a symbol for taking a challenge head on hiking up that challenge to kind of see the other side so I think you'll also see the other side of a challenge that you are approaching this month um and that like you can even see within this card here if I can get it to move um they're kind of lifting you up that mountain as well to the calling that you're feeling uh, I know this is kind of vague. Like I said, it could kind of go a lot of different ways. This could be, you know, with family, with friends. This could be through your career. It's not really being specific. We also have the 11 charm, which represents manifestation. So more of that magician energy kind of correlating here. And then it also can represent a wish-making number too. So if there's a wish of, of transformation that you've been asking for, your wish is being granted this month. You also have the balance charm happening down here by the metamorphosis. So this is like a little pendulum swinging back and forth. It can represent feeling a little bit indecisive or unsure of which way to go. So just see where the pendulum swings and see where it starts to um, kind of center itself and you'll find your way there too. So really listening to your gut and your intuition being a really big point um, in, in trying to find and unfurl the transformation that is needed. And then lastly here you have the um, the mirror charm, which I think is really interesting because if the mirror is set down this way, that means that we're kind of closed off or we don't want people to see the true you, whereas this side is showcasing that you're being more emotionally vulnerable um, in the fact that it fell on, on this card with the, the Queen of um, Cups. So I really feel like vulnerability and being more vulnerable is going to be quite a superpower for you this month when when with those who support you. So that is everything that I'm really getting for your cards this month, group two, and everything that you're really getting. So I do hope that this was useful and can help you kind of navigate the energies on their way in for you for the month. And if it was, do be sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments down below as I'd be very curious to see what transformations you're sort of moving forward and sort of manifesting into your life. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, and also, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing as I put out new videos for love, career, spirituality, educational videos on charm casting and I just put up last week a video on my uh, grimoire tour so if you're interested in spiritual stuff such as um, art magic and uh, manifestations and wish making and uh, lore on certain herbs and and tales through time then do be sure to check that out as well uh, but you can do that by subscribing and also if you want to support the space you can check out the kindred tip jar down below as everything that goes into that goes right back into the channel for decks and supplies and you're also welcome to support not only yourself and this space um, but also this community by checking out the different ways to support through the snail mail readings and the maybon spell and ritual papers that I hand make and create for you all. So do feel free to check that all out, to check out all the things, and I am wishing you a wonderful month for September and for Virgo season and rooting and cheering you on. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Hello group three, if you've decided to choose this little pine cone, then this is the pile for you. I'm going to set your little magical pine cone down here as we are going to be looking through the messages and different oracle charms here for you today to look into your month of September and also for Virgo season and any relationship and blessing messages coming through for you too. So do feel free to get yourself settled and cozy here. We are going to be looking with the Cosmic Slumber Tarot here today as well as the charms and oracle decks which I'll have it listed down below in case you want to look for reference. And yeah, let's just get right into it. I recently just um 
swallowed my water wrong, so if my voice goes weird here, just know that that is why. Um, but feel free to get yourself cozy, and let's get right into it, group three. So what do you got coming in, group three? Do feel free to send your energy in. So group three, what do you got coming in for the month of September? Group three, group three, group three. So the first card that we have over here is the Magician. Um, it's the first card in the deck beside the um, Fool. So the Magician is showcasing like a wish-making card. It can also be a card of manifestation and of eliciting change and empowerment for change into your life. There also is the the idea of resourcefulness that comes through as well. So I want to see how these all kind of mix together with your other two cards. So group group three, what else do you have coming in for the month of September? Group three. Okay, so we also have the Ten of Swords showing up here too. The Ten of Swords showcasing a difficult... A difficult situation that you maybe have gone through recently that you're trying to overcome or is going to come forward and give you sort of some experience or some sense of overcoming the, the situation. I want to see if we can get any information on what this situation might be. Okay, so we also have the Five of Cups. Let's get one more here. Group. Group three. Oops. And the Prince of Pentacles. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. I feel like you guys have a little bit more of a heavier pile or one that sh is showcasing that you're going to be going through a month of sort of picking up the pieces after a difficult situation has sort of transpired in your life. Um, sort of some in some cases I feel like because of the way that I have the cards here it, it kind of is showcasing this is the situation right the Ten of Swords being a situation that has kind of caused you a lot of emotional grief but also it also this card talks a lot about relief too so there could have been like like you know sometimes there's certain situations in our life that are very difficult like difficult conversations or difficult endings but sometimes they also elicit a lot of relief and needed relief and pressure um being lifted after a situation so I really feel like you might be going through that right now but sometimes there's also guilt or grief that comes with that with the five of cups showcasing itself here too um but what I'm seeing here is that like even though you have this situation that you've gone through recently or a situation that might be on its way into that maybe you can feel the pressure building um and a change or an action needed to be taken to relieve that pressure um on the other side of it, on the other side of sort of overcoming this, you have two cards showcasing a very different way of uh, in which they move through the situation uh, or like the after effects or aftershocks of it. So we have the Five of Cups, which is showcasing sort of processing your emotions and processing your grief or your guilt throughout this. But then you also have the Five of Pentacles showcasing more of the optimistic side of looking at, you know, the other side of the coin. And the Prince of Pentacles showcasing that this is going to be experience that you've now gained in order to build, um, sort of build off of. So I really feel like you're, you're kind of taking this situation in stride, right? You're kind of moving through the situation, um, whether, the, whether it's a breakup, whether it's a about um a loss of something or whether it is about um something within your career it really could go many different ways based off the cards we have here it's not really showing any specifics but the prince of pentacles is showcasing that in in some sort some days you're going to be feeling like very grateful and sometimes that gratefulness of like relieving the pressure and letting it go can also give you some of that guilt so i think you're going to have two sides of the coins that you have to sort of continue to flip back and forth as the month moves forward but the one steady card that we have here is um the the magician card and the magician showcases a resourcefulness a capability um to move through the situation in a way that works best for you it almost feels like spirit really wants you to know that you are allowed to 
feel two different emotions at once or to feel two very different ways of looking at the situation at the same time and that that's okay and that also your point of view because you kind of have them showcasing all of these that they're in their point of view it's okay to kind of shift back and forth and to feel all the feelings um, that you might uh, and that it's okay. It's a very human thing to do. I feel like you're going to have a very human month um, feeling very uh, just sort of a human trying to exist in in this world kind of kind of month. And so just be really gentle with yourself for sure. I want to go ahead and see what your blessing card is from Spirit. Um, so this could be a blessing that Spirit is sort of bringing forward for you or you could also see it as an energy that's most on your side this month. So let's see what that is for you, group group three. What do we have for you, group three, for the month of September? Okay, so we have the chipmunk and laurel, and you have success showing up here. And so you might think that, like, okay, how is this a successful month? I'm seeing it mostly is in the idea of, like, the Prince of Pentacles that we have here, where they're kind of holding up this coin and showcasing, like, you know, look at look at how much I've overcome, look at how far, how much farther, how much experience has been gained from this, and sort of seeing the, you know, the, the light, um, in amidst the darkness here and then also success showcasing too that just in general outside of even the situation that's showcasing itself itself here that you might also feel quite um successful now that you have sort of gotten past the situation because you now have more room for success or more room for for success to be in your life um Success also is it's a very interesting card because it's kind of a reminder too that there's no one way to find success, right? The chipmunk is is known for, for taking trails and taking paths that are uncharted and, and going in ways that are very unique to them. So again, success doesn't mean, you know, having a successful nine to five job, going home to the white picket fence, you know, kind of American dream vibes, If even if you don't live in America, right? Like the idea of like these societal expectations on success but rather like the chipmunk kind of building your own and and seeing the success in the situation that you have that is currently or is about to transpire for you uh so I want to see some more we're gonna see your relationship cards now so do feel free to send your energy in through time and space for these as well because this is gonna look into the collective messages for a relationship so this could be a a spiritual relationship, a relationship with yourself, a loved one, a family member, a friend, a romantic partner, however you wish. But let's go ahead and pull one for you. So we have the wallflower and transform. Transform is a big one for all uh, three of the piles. Um, it's come up with all three of them. It's a big part of Virgo season, which we're going to look into those messages here in a moment, but there might be a relationship in your life that's transforming right now. Rise above any situation and become the best version of you. So there might be a personal transformation or a transformation that's happen happening within a relationship in your life. Like I said, some of you might be going through some sort of relief by putting someone or putting yourself first over someone else's needs or by putting yourself first over a situation that has become quite toxic. It could go many different ways, but um, it does seem that you're kind of, again, rising above or finding, you know, the good in this difficult situation um, on the other side of it. And then you have here also the wallflower. Look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out. So this could be also, again, like there's a crack or a fracture that's happening within a relationship. But So I really feel like this could be very much relationship oriented based off of the cards that we're getting here. Um, so it could be that a, a personal relationship that is really changing or the pressure that and tension that was building between you and another person or you and a community uh, is sort of releasing or that tension, that rubber band has sort of snapped in some way. So take that how you see it. Um, but these are some more, that's a little bit more information on the kind of energy you might be seeing this month um, to create that transformation needed within the relationship cards. 
but we are going to look into Virgo season now. So if you have enjoyed this reading so far though, do be sure to give this video a like or subscribe if you'd like to. But we're going to look into two cards to see and reflect on what might be coming in for you for Virgo season. And Virgo season is all about sort of looking at all of the pieces in your life, looking at all of the resources, all of the different things dangling in front of you, and analyzing it to create needed change. That's sort of the superpower of Virgo. So I want to see how that's showing up for you and how you can utilize that energy of analyzing and being more practical to see how change can be, you know, purposely made into your life. So let's see what that is for you. Group three. Group three. To be sure to send your energy in. Group three. Okay, so first off we have the Page of Swords, which showcases a little bit of um, hesitancy or being in a, a new, basically it just represents newness and being kind of hesitant to um, embrace the new or to embrace a new situation. So like I said, you've kind of popped the tension, so now what, right? And so you're kind of being presented with an opportunity for kind of going down a different path or changing the nature of a relationship. Um, so I see that showing up here with the Page of Swords. And that Virgo season is a really good time to navigate that change. And then we have the star, which represents rejuvenation and renewal. So again, there is also that same that same feeling of, of kind of need, needing to, like I said, a lot of tension, a lot of toxicity, a lot of something has really been building and building. So what do you build after it's released? What do you do to pick up the pieces or how do you now sort of restore yourself after the situation. So a lot of this month and a lot of Virgo season is about answering those questions for yourself, for the needed transformation in your, in your life, and to also find more success, find more renewal, and to kind of get back on your own two feet. So that's really what I'm seeing as well, that this is a great opportunity for you to embrace renewal and to embrace, you know, not just falling back into the same old same old with this person, this habit, this situation, and using it as a catalyst for change and catapulting yourself forward versus going backward. So those are all of the cards, but let's go ahead and look at your charms. So do feel free to send your energy in through time and space, and let's pull some of these for you here today, group three. Okay, so not a lot of charms. It felt very specific. So I'm going to see what we have showing up here. So let's zoom you in. So the things that we have, we have three charms, so not too, mon too many, but we have the... Oh, okay, so this is the miscommunication charm, because I personally don't know this language, and I can't really read this. So this is showcasing to me that you guys are on two different pages with that wallflower and transformation charm, or transformation card, um, when, it came, when it comes to your relationships this month, that you might find that you have a lot of miscommunication, a lot of you guys are, you know, just talking on two different pages, you're not, you know, like, things aren't lining up, or your point of views aren't really lining up so you might just find that a lot of communication is going to go a little bit awry this month so taking some breaks to talk to someone or to being a little bit more patient to understand their point of view and then them as well hopefully understanding yours to be able to get back on the same page is really important as well but you might find that that is sort of a catalyst as well for the transformation and that feeling of needing to find that crack in a relationship as well to sort of either mend it or to use it as a way out. That being said, you also have with that success card the wishy-washy charm, which represents like there's there's an opportunity for success to to have the most successful outcome of this this um situation situation um to come forward but you're kind of like still feeling on the fence or wishy-washy about taking action to make or be the catalyst of change for this. Um, so it might be 
that it's something that you have to be the one to create this change or to be the person that, um, you know, puts your first foot forward. Uh, but we also have the idea of this also representing like a washer too, in the idea of like washing something clean or by, by cleansing or creating freedom and creating, you know, pushing aside all of that, um, built up pressure. You're also able to sort of purge all of that away to make more space for success in your life as well to, again, like put your hobbies first, put yourself first again, um, to maybe move away from that relationship or situation that, um, has become more toxic. And this is going to be different for everyone. So read into it as well to see which ones are resonating most for you, because I feel like a lot of you might have of chose this pile where it's very specific um, but then you also have the pearl charm this represents clearing things up as well it can represent um, heirlooms too and inheritance in case those specific things are are related um, but like a, like I said it's near the page of swords which has a lot to do with kind of feeling again still wishy-washy like you don't want to take the inheritance or you don't want to take the um, the clarity that is gained uh, after the storm So feel free to see which ones are resonating for you. You might feel it's one card more than others. Um, So take what you you feel resonates and leave what doesn't. But if you did enjoy this reading so far, do be sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts um, if you feel open to it. I know this is a more sensitive pile, so do feel free if you feel up to it. And if you'd like to, do consider subscribing as I put out new videos on pick a card readings, educational videos on charm casting, and I also do, uh, I just put out a video on my grimoire as well. So if you're interested in that more witchy side of things, then definitely be sure to check that one out and subscribe. So thank you all for joining me here today. If you want to support this space, you can check out the kindred tip jar down below as everything that goes in there goes right back into the channel. And I really do appreciate it. You can also support not only the channel, but yourself through a snail mail reading, which I send to you in the mail. Um, and it's a beautiful tarot reading that you can treasure. And you can also check out the Maybon spell and ritual papers that I hand make and hand create for your spells and rituals. So feel free to check those out down below as well. And with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you here. I'm wishing you the best for your month of September and through this situation. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.